everyone and welcome to Food Review UK and a very special edition of Soda Swirl. It is the twer... God, the police are so inconsiderate. And now you've set the dogs off. I'm genuinely annoyed that that has happened. This is the 12 martinis of Christmas. I didn't even know that it was the 12 martinis of Christmas literally until I read that. Uh, these are actually non-alcoholic cocktail mixers. So I don't actually know if these are like flavoured syrups that hopefully you can add soda water to or if you literally just use them and put them with alcohol. I don't think the directions are all that clear. Shake, drink, mix well, contains no alcohol, blah, blah, blah. Oh, here we go. Fill shaker with ice and a shot of your favourite vodka. Choose your flavour and empty the bottle of mix into the shaker. Oh, so I think you are supposed to use the whole thing. I'm actually going to do, I guess, 50-50 with soda water because I don't want them to be riotously strong. Here's all the different flavours. So we've got pomegranate, raspberry, lemon drop, blood orange, cinnamon. <sighs> Not cinnamon, cheesecake. Dickhead. Blueberry Christmas cake. Chocolate cherry, caramel apple, cranberry, acai berry, and peppermint. Don't know if I'm going to go in that order. I actually picked up this set from Home Sense. It was, I think, about 12 quid. So expensive, but it is a nice little set. And it's make a good Christmas present, really. Ooh! The packaging on the middle is actually amazing. Look at this. I'm actually going to put them in order of most boring to most exciting, in my opinion. This is the first one, Cranberry Cosmo. God knows how I get into these things. Bloody heck, it's a good thing I've got a knife here. And then once you've, once you've got in to the bloody silver bit, which is 10, which takes 15 years, you've then got cap on the top as well. I've never had so much difficulty getting into a bloody product. Christmas cheer and festive banter, la 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 la. Fucking hell. I'm gonna be editing literally 150% of this video out. <sighs> Smells weird. I'm just going to try it from the bottle first of all. Yeah, it's quite sweet. That's about two thirds to one third water. So let's see what this tastes like. Cranberry Cosmo. Mm, not bad. It's very sweet. Oh, oh. Very sweet. Bit of tang. Quite artificial tasting. Yeah. Sweet and tangy and sharp and tart. Very cranberry like. I'd just give it two stars though. By no way am I a big cranberry fan, so. Next up is lemon drop. There it is neat. Looks like very pale urine. Fuck me, that smells, oh, oh my god, that is, obs that is obscene, oh, that is bored, that's like a lump of coal in metaphorical, that is literally one of the worst drinks I've ever had and I'm not being melodramatic or lemodramatic, funny, food review show, drink it. It tastes like dust. It tastes like lemon dust. Like, it tastes like an actual dusty lemon warehouse. That is absolutely... It tastes like an archaeological... Uh, it tastes like dirt. It tastes like lemon dirt. So, um, oh, that's fucking gross. That is absolutely horrendous. Minus two stars. That is... I'll sa <coughs> save that. I'll make someone else drink that. Because that's fucking... That is absolutely... People think it is urine. Next up, we've got pomegranate. Hmm, this one smells like wine. Get the last remnants of the disgusting lemon drop out. Because I'm drinking so many, I don't want that much of each one, you know, because this is like the equivalent of, by the owner, drinking probably a pint of soda. Quite like pomegranate, so this one should be okay. It does smell like fortified wine. Swimming pool. Immediately tastes like a swimming pool, but in a good way. Tangy, very tangy again. Quite fruity, chemically, chlorine. It does actually taste like a swimming pool. Mm. It's like a fruity swimming pool, so yeah. 
I'm going to say high one on that one. Yeah, these, these have not been mind-blowing so far, I think it's fair to say. When the best one you've had is one of your least favourite flavours, you kind of know that you're, you're in for bad times, really. Right, what we've got next? A Kai Berry. This smells really interesting, actually. Very fragrant. Pouring out easily, so it's playing ball with me. This one is bright blue. It's literally vile blue. So, interesting. Ooh! Whoa! Wow! Wow! Mm. God, that is so fruity and I've got a bubble in my throat! I've got a bubble in my throat and I don't care who knows it. It's a Christmas bubble in the throat. I've just noticed that I've been filming for nearly 20 minutes. That's how long it's taken me to get through just four of these. Wow, this is so weird. The others were sickly, sweet and tangy. This is so smooth and well-rounded in the mouth. This tastes like those sugarcane sodas, American sodas, where they have that full-bodied sweetness in the mouth. And it's got this weird, almost floral, fragrant hint of Parma Violet to it. But a nice, just fruity note. Really good. So unique, I couldn't describe the flavour. If that is what a Kai Berry tastes like, they need to start putting a Kai Berries and everything, because it's delicious. I'll give it a low four stars. It's probably just a three star product, but after drinking piss, it tastes like a fucking six star. Right, what we've got now, raspberry. This one should be okay. Okay, almost like a very light orange, this one. Raspberry. Mm. Oh my god, that's so sour! That's so sour! What are you doing? This is like a bloody gauntlet! It's like, it doesn't even claim to be sour. And it's more sour than anything that claims to be like, oh, sour blue raspberry. Fucking unbelievably sour bloody red orangey raspberry thing. Oh. Ugh. It's got a hint of the warehousey pissy taste of the piss, which is obviously bad. Yeah, bit of fake raspberry taste like blue raspberry. It's the most, it, it's one of the most sour things I've ever put in my mouth. I've got to drink the rest of it as well. One. Low one. It's that fucking warehouse taste. <clears throat> it's really weird. I'm not sure if this has been worth 12 99 so far. I like it. It's fun. I'm sure you guys are enjoying watching me eat this horrible stuff. But if you're spending 12 99 you kind of want to enjoy yourself a little bit. Would keep you entertained for hours though because you can't get into any of them. Look, once again. So look, I've had three different circumstances happen when I've p pulled off the, the cap there. I've had just the upper plastic cap come off. I've had just the plastic cap and the foil come off, which is what's happened this time, and left the final plastic layer on the bottle. And I've had all three come off like once. Right, this one is blueberry. Hmm, smells a bit dubious. This is again a very bold blue. It looks really good. Hmm, phew. It's similar to the, very similar to the Akai Berry. Very smooth, not at all tangy. It's got a vaguely fruity back note. Again, slightly fragrant, again, a bit like the Akai, but apart from that, it's actually the blandest of all of them. Don't think I would place blueberry in terms of flavour, but yeah, it's not bad. That's a high two stars. Some slight coloration of the tongue. We're halfway through. Right, we're entering the upper half. I think this is the last, what I consider, flavour that I wouldn't, scream for probably this is blood orange i think all the others after this one are really pretty interesting but i think all the ones that we've ever done this for are just like yeah whatever really these all smell a bit weird slight dusty warehouse smell again it smells like a carton of orange juice fell over in a dusty warehouse What is wrong with these people making these drinks? Oh, fucking hell, are you supposed to drink them in some kind of order and um, put like two shots of vodka in all of them, but I'm eating them in the wrong order. 
So by this point, you're so pissed you won't even care what it tastes like. That's probably what has happened. It's like plasticky warehouse. Um, a bit of orange, very fake orange flavour. I'm just gonna have to down that. No, zero. Why am I doing it to myself? Right, hopefully we're in the good flavours now. Although, the quality hasn't been superb, has it? So this is probably just going to be really sour and really fake tasting. This is the caramel apple. Oh yeah, and half the time I get the uh, little foamy cap that goes in the top of the lid. I haven't mentioned that, but yeah, that's been happening a lot. Ooh, okay. It actually smells nice, which is a good thing, I don't think. Yeah, this one actually smells quite promising, to be fair. It does smell like apple squash. But hopefully it's got a nice bit of caramel flavouring in there as well. And uh, even if it's just kind of an apple -y drink, it'll be quite nice after the, the stuff that I've had so far. Mmm. Yeah. It's um, <laughs> very artificial tasting. Kind of as we expected. Slightly disappointing that there is zero caramel flavour. It's got a good colour though. And it's really like an or uh, orange meh, apple squash. It's like a green apple, typical American candy green apple taste, like a Jolly Rancher green apple. Hi, two stars. Right, the final four. These are the interesting ones, I reckon. This one's peppermint. Will you be my candy cane tonight? Not a song. Well, it is a song, but it doesn't exist. It hadn't existed before this moment, even though the lyrics are very basic. <sighs> This time someone spilt polos in the warehouse. Got a nice colour on there, kind of pale, uh, pale, 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 pale orange. <sighs> Minty warehouse, right, here we go. Hmm. This is a really interesting one. This is the most interesting one so far, but maybe only because of the order in which I've done them in, and I will explain right now. It's got the sugary, rounded, full-bodied mouthfeel from like the Akai and the Blueberry. So it tastes like an American soda. It's got a little bit of the warehouse taste from the piss. Quite a lot of that, actually. Follow all of that up, it's got mint. It's weird. It's almost very gross. Borderline unbearable. Give it a very low one star. Oof. Right, come on. These are the three that I was really looking forward to now. Don't let me down, boys. Or girls, don't be don't be sexist. This one's chocolate cherry. This is surely gonna be alright. Surely. I wonder if the alcohol does something to these, like makes them taste nice. Or tricks your brain into thinking that you haven't made a terrible retail decision. There's a mixture of really nice smell in there and a little bit of bad smell, but it smells a lot like Dr. Pepper. Smells very much like Dr. Pepper, and if it tastes even 10% as good as Dr. Pepper, it will be the best one by far. Weird voice, sorry about that. Mmm, yeah. Cherry, cherry aid, Dr. Pepper. By the way, I'm using Little brand soda water. Yeah, it smells like a cherry aid, Dr. Pepper. Here we go. Mmm, yeah, nice. There is like the slightest, slightest suggestion of a chocolatey flavour. Almost kind of similar to the uh, new J2O, which claims to be orange, chocolate and cherry. And almost has like a borderline fruit punch taste. So yeah, it doesn't doesn't taste like a straight up cherry aid, so have to be positive on that front. But yeah, it's not too bad. I'd give that a very solid three stars. This is good. Right. Cheesecake. Cheesecake in a drink. Sounds really weird. And if you would normally come up to me and say, oh, would you like to try this really nice cheesecake flavoured drink? I'd be like, oh, yeah, I'd really, I'd love, I'd love to try your really nice cheesecake flavoured drink. However, if you had said to me, hmm, would you like to try this delicious cheesecake flavoured drink? And it was after I'd tried 10 of your other disgusting warehouse drinks, I'd probably be extremely sceptical. I'm fe currently feeling extremely sceptical. Guess what it smells like? Dusty, pissy warehouse. But what's the other smell? There isn't one. This probably smells like the most concerning from all of them. Yeah, complete and utter warehouse smell. Dusty warehouse, so this is gonna be good. It's not, doesn't taste like cheesecake. It's, uh, it's extremely, extremely sweet. Extremely sweet. 
probably most similar to the to the piss one. Very weirdly tangy. I I guess that's how they claim that it's cheese because cheese can be tangy. Dreadful. Not not as bad as the piss. Don't get me wrong, but I regret putting that as my second most wanting to try. Uh, that is a zero. Borderline minus one, honestly. Okay, so Christmas cake. Are you going to raise the average from to slightly higher? Um, who knows? Christmas cake. I don't know if this, uh, the actual image was uh, of like a frosted sponge cake. So I don't know if it's going to, well, <laughs> I don't know if it's going to taste like a frosted sponge cake. It's obviously not, even if they were aiming for that smell, it's not going to be that smell. Worryingly, there's like a weird brown ring on this one, which I don't know, you know what that means but yeah or if this is going to taste like a fruit cake but then probably not because um i guess they would have put on the picture fruit i'm just going to guess that it's going to taste like a pissy dusty warehouse though it kind of weirdly smells like all of them there's there's maybe the slightest suggestion of vanilla or like a creaminess to it but <sighs> could be the color playing tricks on me but it's like five percent iron brew 20% ginger beer, which as you know, I absolutely adore. 25% dust, 0% cake. Bad, very bad, but that's actually, thankfully, probably slightly blander than the other bad ones. Probably low one. Bottoms up. For the most part, they were absolutely dreadful. <sighs> Hope you enjoyed watching me basically torture myself for, well, for me, it's been 45 minutes. For you, it's been probably about 10. Yeah, this was awful. Was it worth £12.99? Yeah, if you want to talk to your friends, definitely worth £12.99. If you want to treat yourself, no. It, it couldn't be couldn't be worse value for money. Probably one of the worst products I've ever reviewed. Ever. Which is horrific, you know. This, this company, who are they actually? Let's bloody name and shame. Who are the people that have brought, that have ruined, that, yeah, you've ruined Christmas for me. You've ruined my Christmas. So I hope you're happy with yourselves. But luckily it's in date until 2017 to Modern Gourmet Foods International. You, you've brought nothing but joy to the world this Christmas. For curiosity's sake, yeah. But I can't recommend spending £12.99 on it, but no doubt if you see it, you'll be, you'll be mildly interested. And if you're sadistic enough to actually want to inflict this kind of damage and pain on yourself, then I'm not going to try and stop you. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a very Merry Christmas, and subscribe for more videos. Claire, can you pass me a bucket? Yeah, if you cut along the bits where there's no tape, that'll probably do quite a lot of good MJ. Good work there. You've done well, you spastic. I know you've got people to save, but can you do it when I'm not fucking filming? <laughs> fucking hell, this packaging is ridiculous. Oh, piece of complete shit. Look at this. Oh yeah, let's fucking put the fucking handle. Make the handle part of the thing that the fucking holes go on, so you literally can't get out. Fuck me, that is stupid. Jesus. Got to do it again with this one. Oh, you're a cunt, mate. This is taking fucking forever. I actually have no idea how to get into this. I can't even get into the easy tear fucking tab. It's literally like almost melted on there. Oh, this is irritating me to no end. See, look, this is how stupid these are. This is, this is what I have to do to get the liquid out. Stupid product.